Hello guys, another uh, fourth wall break type deal, breaking away from the whole memory shtick um, to let y'all know some things. Uh, I have recorded the second episode of Mate of Skur um, earlier this week, and uh, the not the game's fault. A um, little more human, a little some of it human error, some of it technological error. Uh, OBS did not record the sound at all because they had it updated, and for some reason the default setting of it was not to record the game capture. It was to record something else that I didn't have the game audio output to, which then made it to where it didn't record the whole thing. Which of course, if I record an hour bits and I don't notice it during the recording, um, and then the whole thing is just without game volume. Which, uh, sometimes, when I'm not talking, it goes dead quiet. And so that means it's footage that's not available to use. So I had a couple options. One, I could have just started the new, got back to where I ended off with, then re-recorded, um, knowing what was coming up, and either act like I didn't know, or just boost past it. Which I think ruins the whole experience um, for you guys watching. And honestly, it more importantly ruins the experience for me having to restart a game even though the game is not at a fault if i restart a game i should be the one restarting it on my own premise and not something that uh technology had did or me not noticing it did while recording um or i could take small clips from the uh, episode I recorded that has no game volume, smack some music on there, um, and do like a little summary exposition type deal of that memory. Um, and I, that, uh, I'm going with the latter. So you're going to get some of the important bits that we had done in a little bit. Um, I have a whole like, little script I typed up and I'm going to have some clips playing on the background where you can hear it. Um, a couple of the notes that I did read, I will boot those on there with the in-game volume of that stuff. Um, and yeah, and then after that summary is done, we'll continue on with the next uh, episode of Made of Skur. Um, so in this beginning, we'll not have <coughs> the whole bit where, you know, my name is Addicts and I'm so powered up and all that stuff, and here's the next memory and stuff. Um, it'll just be summary and then into the next video uh, episode, and then at the end of it, it will go back in that whole thing. Um, so yeah, please enjoy. Thanks. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. When we started, we traversed ahead past the cloth face and found a note. Christ almighty, I can't read cursive? I hear whispers of the Williams family and their evil deeds they have committed. There's too much circumstance to suggest that they are not honest men. The leader of these criminals, Jebediah Williams, and the head of the Williams family. They are more than humble fishermen with deep pockets. It is unusual and suspicious. I am sure they are the cause of the missing ships around Skur Island in recent years. The poor lost souls of each vessel collateral for lining their pockets. Hidden on their land, I am going to find the truth. The rumors must have some morsel of truth to them. The Williams family are smugglers, wreckers, and murderers. I will expose them, and the good people will know the truth. Further ahead, we went into a graveyard and inspected Prudence Williams' grave. Upon doing so, a cloth face caught sound of us and started to inspect. After a little of cat and mouse, we ran and fell underground. We then found another note. Ooh! A fucking letter! Dearest brothers and sisters, this high council of the quiet one invites you to revere in the power from the song of our source. Together we will attain true control. Be assured to bring your offering of flesh and bone to sacrifice the weakness within to join us in the ritual of rebirth. Excuse me. Remember your garments of the quiet ones to shield from the weak leeches of the sacrifice. Our beloved silent disciple Prudence has volunteered for the position of priestess. This is a high honor for us all. Her position will be anointed at our next gathering of brothers of the brothers and sisters. Yours quietly, Jebediah Williams. We listened to another recording of the daughter and her uncle. The uncle stated he had better things to do, but the father insisted on the daughter singing. She reluctantly sings. Further in the crypt, we encountered the glowing voice again. And past it, we found another note. All right, 3rd of February, 1874. The storm of the century battered the island last night. The men, they say, have spotted a vessel off the coast, and my father has ordered us to extinguish the flames of the beacon. Word from the men 
informs me that a ship ran aground on the stone coast east of Scar Point. Myself and all at the sides of this vessel engraved on a plaque on the port side of the ship read its name, HMS Providence. Seven days later, um, 10th of February, 1874. My men, under order by my father, transferred the remains of the ship into the cavern beneath Skirt Point. We salvaged what we could from the ship, and the value, but most importantly, the contents of the cargo hold. The next day. Um, my nose. It's all stuffed up. Um, something was discovered inside the wreck buried in the cargo hold. Something I've never seen before. It's alive and in such a tragic state. My father thinks it's fortunate that it is weak, for it tries to sing. Unloading the cargo, some of the men have begun to act strange in the presence, presences of this creature. This thing seems to have effect on them. Even in the weakened condition, I find this fascinating and need to take notes. My father is becoming concerned. The more I learn about this mindless creature, it seems that the song it sings lures its prey so he can devour and survive. My father is beginning to see the potential of this beast and what we could accomplish with its power if we could somehow harness it. Four days after that... My father has begun to use this creature upon Skir Point, chained to the beacon to aid in luring vessels here. With this, we can increase our potential earnings from the wrecks. I may have an idea in harnessing the power further. With the help of my beloved Prudence, I will take some time to present this to Father and his blessing, Isaac Williams. We then had to deal with a very small puzzle where we needed to activate two power levels and open a locked door, while the two cloth faces roamed. Using a train cart to create noise and distract him, we went further ahead and went up an elevator. Stopping at a church, we found a note that depicts a ritual. Alright, the blessing. Douse the follower to cleanse impurities. The prayer exposed them to its thrall. The exorcism shield the senses from the song. The rebirth arrives of devotee. We opened the door and left. After taking a detour, we spotted a man that is forcibly having the ritual from before performed on him. Another recording was listened to afterward, this time just of the daughter, stating that she feels too much pressure on her shoulders. She isn't her mother. Her father expects too much of her. Past the maze that has several Roman cloth faces, we were able to talk to our girlfriend. While talking to her, we started to have a theory that our girlfriend is dead, or at least isn't actually talking to us. An earlier note said that the voice manipulates others. Maybe we are too being manipulated, and this is how. During the conversation, the dog we had been seeing around, we learned, has a name. Calliope. After hanging up the phone, we started marching towards a music cylinder. On the way, we found Calliope caught in a bear trap. After freeing her, she thanked us and ran away. We solved the puzzle and opened the cage that held the musical cylinder and grabbed our first one. Heading back to Skur Hotel, we found a ball that emits sound. This can be used to disorient and stun cloth faces. We listened to another recording where the daughter is just crying into the mic. And that is where we left off. Now, enjoy. Now we go out of the store and to the left, right? Yep. Is that a paper I can grab? Nope. It sure isn't. Okay. So it's going to make me want to use this. It looks like. Okay. This is scurry. Hello. I hate that fucking music. It makes it sound like someone caught me. Hello. Leave me be. Okay, this means I don't have power to it. And I gotta find the power lovers, don't I? Awesome. We love these. These kind of puzzles are amazing. I gotta be careful. My brother, I need you to march your way back into the middle. Ah, oh, shit. I see you too, buddy. Don't 
Oh, Jesus. Dude, that's the fucking... I saw that statue. I thought it was one of them. The quiet ones is what they're called, but cloth faces work too. So if I use either or, just know that... Faster. Go, 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 go. Get moving, get moving. Okay, that's one lantern, not lantern, one switch. <laughs> I see another one. Just in case. Howdy, friend. Howdy, friend. Keep while I'm walking, Buster. You don't know I'm here. So I don't know if they can still hear my breath or if the breath mechanic was is only to stop myself from coughing at moments. Oh shit, I'm missing another one. Okay. So I gotta find another one, so I'm assuming it's somewhere in the middle, 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 middle. In the middle. I guess next to the torchlight. Which is just fan fucking fantastic. Dude, oh my god, they all traverse here. Fuck off, bro. Why you gotta be like on my dick, bro? Does that mean I can open that door now? Could I have gone back over here? Fuck it, me. This is stupid. I shouldn't be doing for going for it. <laughs> Got it though. Alright, maybe that door is able to be open now that I flipped that one switch. I thought it was going to be a three switch per. Maybe the other switch is past here and then I can go through that gate, right? Well, it didn't even fucking show that it's even on there. Right there. Is it going to make noise as soon as I do this? Well, if it is, it shall. Open, open. No. <sighs> that other lever also has to be hit. Fuck, dude. Alright. Lovely. So that lever has to be hit. I tried that, but it wasn't flipping. The switch wasn't flipping. The switch wasn't flipping. Correct, correct. The switch wasn't flipping. Unless I walk past it, the switch wasn't flipping. Oh no, we gotta do one at a time. I see. So now I head back over here. Aha. Ho ho. Ehe. I think I figured it out. 
I'm a fucking genius. I'm a genius that walks on air. Open up, sir. Are they coming after me after me? They sure are. That's unfair. I didn't realize they would they were on me on me. Well, whores. Where the fuck am I? Okay, so I'm up here now. Okay, so there was another cylinder over there. That's kind of scary, though. Fuck you guys. Alright. The fuck is this? Why? Christ. Dude scared the shit out of me. Pussy bitch. Oh, yeah, dude. Suck on my ass, dog. A phonic modulator. this shit is that I picked up and I'm out all right so now I have the key for this area which is lovely meaning now there's probably roamers about inside this hotel floor if I go right down here there's a door down there do I go to that because that looks like it'll continue around this way well I want to go left so I'm going to go over here to this little magic cylinder, music cylinder thing, and then I can save and I can open up that door. Yeah, yeah, that's where I'll go. So left. All right? Yeah. All right, our girlfriend, quote unquote, is calling me. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, they're roaming now. Do y'all not care about that? Alright, this would be where... Oh. Get to the door, get to the door. So this is where I use the bell system, right? Yeah, shut up. Phone. So now, I come over here. And I'll call him to the Oh, you don't give a fuck. Kitchen. Now kitchen. I 
I've managed to find a cylinder. Oh, Thomas, that's welcome news. This will surely free us all. Do you know where the others might be? I'm sorry, my love, but I do not. My father and uncle, my family, had many secrets, and so much is only now becoming clear. The other cylinders must be in the hotel. Perhaps on the first or the second Yeah, floor. I already know where one is. Look for a way to reach me. Some means to come here to the Oh, entrance. he's right next to me. I think I'm going to lure them to the Great Hall again to make my way over there. Okay, I was making sure I was crouched. Alright. Down here, Great Hall again because they go over there. Pawn doing so, we'll go this way. Yeah. Right. I know there's a vent there, but I think that vent is only for when I do this little area right here. So I know there's a vent here, and then do that. So I'm going to go this way, activate Great Hall, go to this door, I'm guessing. Okay, that one ran that way. I wonder if that sprinting gave away my position. Okay. Not another safer. Okay, so that opened that door for the elevator. Isaac Audio Visual Notes. Alright. Uh, October 4th, 1897. The latest test with the cylinder shows significant signs of progress. Subject 4's shows greatly increased suggestibility and compliance after repeated sessions in the chair. The combination of both audio stimulus and visual suggestion proves to be working, but how to replicate the same results on a larger scale to mass audiences? But on whom? The staff? Possibly. A beer tap. Okay. Was that what was the, the exclamation point that was over here? It was. Jesus. Stop all the noise. That's the top floor. Lovely. Can I turn you off? If I go around this way, this way would be a lot of yeah. Alright, so we have a cylinder to go get in the chapel area over here. Let's go get it. Let's go get that. Jesus Christ, this game makes me nervous. But so far, they haven't caught me, you know, breathing. So I'm assuming that means that they don't hear breath. The breath is, holding your breath is only supposed to stop you from coughing. So. 
That's lit. I'm assuming this is locked. I need a chapel key. Brother, move. That was uncalled for. Yeah, yeah. Trying all everything. Okay, nothing. Oh. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with an hook, or his tongue with cord, which thou lettest down? Canst thou put an hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make any supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Wilt thou take him for a servant forever? Wilt thou play with him as with a bird, or wilt thou bind him for thy mistress? Shall she make a banquet of him? Shall she partake of him among others? Canst thou fill his skin with hot iron? Job 41 Therefore I will wail and howl, I will go stripped and naked, and I will make a wailing like the dragons, and mourning as the sirens, Micah 1 8, J. A. Williams. 1874. Yeah, yeah, I am out. Alright, so we got a second cylinder. Alright, so now I cut through here, go here. Uh, we go this way. We need to go straight through. We'll see what this fucker does. Does it go left? He does. We're gonna go to the right in the safe room and save. Hello. Alright, eat my nuts, bitches. Yeah, we're going down here to the door. Hello, bird. You freaked me out. What is over there? What's the point of going that way?
Nothing. Oh. I guess there is something. Uh, Lovely. Oh, no, there are two doors. I am so relieved you're safe. Yeah, there's somebody on the other side of that door. You bastards. Now we have a map. Okay. So, I'm assuming a magic cylinder is here. Based on that map, I could have sworn X was there. Um, so, we got a dead end room over here, possibly with another vent. Got something else over there. Okay. The beer tap. Yes. Ooh, we got a... That's not too bad. All right, the Morning Herald, volume, whatever, number seven, Sunday morning, 21st of February, 1897, 20 pages, okay. Uh, highly regarded composer Henry Hughes to unveil latest masterpiece at the Royal Albert Hall. The esteemed composer Henry Hughes has been busy composing his latest symphony and plans to unveil his work at the Royal Albert Hall this December. Mr. Hughes reported to be one of the most successful musicians in the country. I am very proud and delighted to perform my latest piece for the public once again. Picture of Henry Hughes. Well, young Welsh musician to perform at local theaters around the country. Picture of Thomas Evans. The young Welsh composer Thomas Evans announces this week that he will be performing his orchestral arrangements of traditional songs of Wales around the country. Oh, fuck me, dude. How do I know? Alright, we're going to do this. I did that way, that way, so we're going to do this. We're about to solve this one way or the other. Did it. Safe room, I'm assuming. Oh, yep. It is. Sure is. And there's a vent. Thomas. 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 Oh, did I accidentally skip that? Let's hope that was all that was, because that was... That was pretty scurry. Oh, can I fuck with that vent? So I can't fuck with either two of those vents. So now, that means I have to go out this way, right? Go out there, and then go in here. Is what this tells me.
Now that we're going to call the Great Hall again. Come on, bust in. <laughs> what the fucking point is this? There was no point of the fucking dust cloud. What you're telling me. What the fuck, bro? Little bitch. I want you to know that. Thank God. Phew. Need a heart key. I'm here. Elizabeth, are you there? I managed to reach the first floor. Yes, I'm still here. Oh, hopefully you'll be able to find a way up to me now. But please be wary on the first floor. I know that my father and uncle devised all manner of dangers. Watch your step. Where should I look on the first floor? It's mainly guest rooms on that floor. The library too, and my father's snug. I'm not sure. Perhaps the library. Is someone still in the attic with you? I've not heard anything outside this door for a good while now. But I can still hear them searching around the other rooms. Take care, my Thomas. Yeah, no problem. Alright, so now there's going to be floor traps. Is what I'm being told. Ah, so... Missing a piece, missing a piece, missing a piece, missing a piece. Lovely. Good to know. And then locked. I guess let's check the guest rooms. Hello. Ooh, paper! We all know. 12th of August, 1897. I despair in the mall. My oafish brother seems to have confirmed the worst of Elizabeth's suspicions after she began digging through her father's journals. She now flat refuses to sing. Refuses to learn from the recorded version of the song to follow in her mother's legacy. There must be another way, another means. We cannot survive long off the slim pickings of recent years. Perhaps the recordings themselves. Perhaps there's a way to engineer a less stubborn, more mercurial solution. Ah, and that was the start. How how many of these do I have? I got two. Okay. I was forced to use one. Damn it. Oh. Oh my god, someone's hands got cut off. Bro, are you crazy if I'm putting my hands in there? I need some drinks in me first. Anything over here? No? Am I gonna find something to fucking 
disarm? Oh. I guess technically, yeah. I literally heard you while I was walking in there. Tell me now there's somebody in there. Let's find out, I guess. February 1874. It was within the shadowed hold of HMS Providence that we came upon it, sealed within a glass panel in an iron cage, held in place with thick chains. How they captured it, to where it was being taken, and to whom, I cannot say. Badly injured by our wrecking, we were fortunate to find it in such a tragic state. For it had begun to sing, our doom was surely have followed. And the weeks after, even in its weakened condition, from the effect its song had on my men, nay, even on a woman's mind, I believe we have captured... Pisano herself? Pison? Pisanoe? Pus. Pus. Pisano? Pison? Pisano? Pisano? Pi. Uh. Pisanoe? Pisanoe. That is what I'm gonna. Pisano. Herself and the daughter of Melpomene. The muse of the chorus and tragedy. What to do with such a creature, with such a power, those I have listened to seem to fall under its spell and become more suggestible, even beginning to worship it. I have a mind to see if it can be used to lure more ships upon the point, but if there is any, there was a way to control its power, to learn its song, my eldest Isaac has suggested that his betrothed prudence is willing to attempt it. And I've given him my blessing to do so. Oh, it sounds like I'm being followed now. I think I am. There's a motherfucker in there, dude. Fuck it. I'm opening the door. Yeah, there he is. Go away. Alright. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there, bro. Alright, let's go this way first. What's the safe room? Let's go. Just in case, I'm double checking to make sure there's nothing in here. Alright, let's listen to the recording. ramblings insane but for what my father has intimated of late if it were not for what I have discovered myself that our fortune is born from blood the price we pay for the siren song the same song you sang mother the song father now wishes me to learn it is utter madness and yet it holds my father and my uncle held even you in its thrall what can I do? What should I do? I cannot give in to my father's demands. Not in good conscience. Not now that I know the truth. That our family legacy is founded on wrecking. Founded on a creature of myth. On a cult dreamt up by grandfather. A cult in which you served as its priestess. How could you? No. No, I shall not. I will not be a party to this. There must be some means within my reach to stop this, to end all this darkness. Hell yeah. Alright, and there you have it. Another memory of Maid of Skur given to you. Well, yeah, we had some fragmented problems. We're now back on track. Got two music cylinders now. 
And now we're exploring the first floor. Let's find out what has more in store for us. <laughs> Hello there. Bye, friend. I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Whatever time you may be watching. Thanks again. Bye.